In this video, we are going to be looking at identifying weak acids and bases. Weak acids and bases have an equilibrium that is established because weak acids and bases only partially dissociate to make products. Equilibrium arrows are used for weak acid-base reactions to show only partial dissociation. Partial dissociation means that only some of the reactants will create products. For weak acids and bases, a very small amount of the weak acid or weak base will dissociate to produce products. And to identify weak acids and bases, there are some important characteristics that we can look for in their chemical formulas. For identifying weak acids, weak acids will have a separate hydrogen in the front of the chemical formula or in the back of the chemical formula. And this hydrogen will not be a part of a CH group because CH groups are hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons are not acidic or basic. If the chemical formula contains a positively charged NH compound, the compound is a weak acid. For different examples of weak acids, we have HC2H3O2, or this can be also written as CH3COOH, this is acetic acid, and here we see that the CH group is not acidic or basic, and the hydrogen in front is what is acidic and what is donated as a proton. In CH3COH, we have the CH groups that are not acidic or basic, and we have the hydrogen at the end that is acidic. Other common examples are HF, NH4+, H2CO3, HCN, and C5, H5, NH+. HF has a hydrogen in front of the formula, so we can tell that this one is acidic. NH4 plus is a positively charged NH compound, and one of these hydrogens are acidic and will be donated as a proton to produce the conjugate base. H2CO3 is actually a polyprotic acid, and both of the hydrogens in front are going to be acidic. HCN has the acidic hydrogen in front of the chemical formula, and C5H5NH plus is a positively charged NH compound, and the H plus is going to be the acidic proton. To be able to identify a weak base, we can look at some of the common characteristics that they have as well. Weak bases will have a negative charge. And the negative charge indicates that a proton, H+, can be added to the chemical formula. Negatively charged spectator ions are not weak bases. Spectator ions cannot act as an acid or a base. Also, if the chemical formula contains a neutral NH or neutral N, the compound is a weak base. Some common examples of weak bases are NH3, F-, HCO3-, C5, H5N, C2, H3, O2-, and CN-. NH3 is a neutral NH compound, and when it is neutral, and has a nitrogen involved, it can accept a proton and act as a base to become the conjugate acid. F- has a negative charge, and the negative charge shows that it can also accept a proton to produce the conjugate acid. 
HCO3 minus has a negative charge and it can also accept a proton and act as a weak base. The same goes for C2H3O2 minus and CN minus. These all have negative charges showing that they can accept a proton to become the conjugate acid. And C5H5N is another example of a neutral N compound that can accept a proton to become the conjugate acid as well.